Do you want to send data to your job form tables from other applications? Well, that is possible with an integration. So let me show you how right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and I'm going to show you how to send data to job form tables from other applications. To accomplish this integration, we are going to use Zapier as the bridge from other applications to job form tables. Now, the idea is to use job form tables to store data or organize it in job form tables. So let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, so first off, let me create a basic form for this purpose. And I'm going to start from scratch, classic form. And I do recommend that you create the form based on the data that you want to send to job form tables. I'm going to give you a hypothetical case where you want to keep data from the emails that you receive from Gmail. You want to know who the sender is, what the email is, and what the message is, and you want to store that in job form tables. Okay, that's going to be the demo case today. Okay, so let me go ahead and add the form elements, and I'm going to add the full name. I'm going to add long text and the email. There it is, email. All right. For this, I'm going to say it's going to be message. Here we go, and I'm going to name this so I can find it later on. I'm going to say Gmail messages. Okay, so that's the form that I've just created. If I go to job form tables right now, it's going to be empty because I haven't sent out any data. Okay, so now we're going to jump into Zapier because this is going to be the bridge from our other applications to job form tables. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new Zap. Here we go. Let's go ahead and select it. And we're going to need a trigger and an action. The trigger is going to be what data are you going to receive to send it to job form tables? In this case, as I mentioned before, the hypothetical case is going to be Gmail. So let me go ahead and select it. And I'm going to choose Gmail. Select it here. And I'm going to select the event. And in this case, it's going to be a new email. So that means when we receive a new email, it's going to send out that data. OK, next, I need to choose my Gmail account. In this case, I'm going to use one that I have connected previously. It's going to continue. And then the mailbox that I want to grab that information from. In this case, I'm going to use the inbox, which is the main inbox for my emails, but you can use draft, spam, or any other mailbox that you want to use. In this case, inbox, okay? Let's go ahead and continue. It's going to test the trigger and it's going to bring in the data. Here we go. We just got the latest message from that mailbox, which is a mail tracker email that we just received, okay? So we're going to continue with that information and then we are going to send that data to job form tables. For that, we're going to search for job form. We're going to select it as the action. And then we're going to choose the event. In this case, we want to create a submission. Let's go ahead and continue. We're going to choose the job form account. In this case, we're going to create a new connection just to show you how it's going to be done. Now, first thing you need to know is that if you have an IPA compliant account activated, you need to select yes. If not, go ahead and select no. And if your job form is connected to a European database, select yes. If not, just leave it at no. Okay. Yes, continue to job form. We're going to allow it. Here we go. We are not connected. We're, let's go ahead and continue. And we're going to select the form. In this case, we created the Gmail messages form. So we're going to use that one. And then we have these fields available from the elements that we added on the form. So the first name, we're going to grab it from the email. So we're going to use this one. And in this case, we don't have a last name. We're going to keep it empty. The message, we're going to grab it from the body plane. Here we go. I'm going to select it there. And then the email, let's go ahead and scroll down here. We should have the email. Let's go ahead and select it. And we're going to continue test the step. OK, let's make sure everything is working fine. Let's go into our job form tables. Let's go ahead and refresh it. And here we go. We got the information here, the name, the message and the email. If everything is working fine, we are going to publish it here in Zapier. So we're going to activate it in that case. From now on, every single email that we receive in the inbox is going to send it over to job form tables. Now, the idea that I wanted to show you here is that this is the way that we can integrate with other applications to send the data to job form tables. So if you want to send it from a CRM, an email marketing service, or any other application that's available in Zapier as the action, it is possible to send it as a submission to job form to add it to job form tables. So it's a really great way to send data to job form tables from other applications using Zapier as the bridge. Well, I thank you all for watching. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration from other applications to job form tables and what updates you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.